Hey everyone, so in this video today we're going to be covering the suburban type of water heater that's normally fitted to Kia motorhomes and quite a few different units around the world. How you identify it is if you're in a Kia, you normally have this red light here and this water heater switch here. So we'll be discussing the most common problems that um, people seem to have with these and how to quickly troubleshoot it. So what we'll do is, before turning any of this on, We'll go outside, turn on the gas, and then we'll come uh, come inside, and then I'll explain a bit more. So this is where the gas compartment is. If you're on a Kia 3 berth, it's on the driver's side. We want to use this gold key over here and open this up. Then over here, you want to make sure that those valves are open. See how they're in the open position at the moment? If we turn them horizontally, that means they are locked off. So there's three different valves here. One is for the gas hot water heater, one is for the barbecue here, and the other one is for the gas cooktop. So I'll leave them all open while you're using them, and we'll just turn this gas bottle on. Once you're done, lock this, and we'll go back inside. Now, first things first, um, if this is your first trip away after a few months, what I recommend doing is come to the gas hob first before trying to switch on the water heater and light this gas hob. In order to do that, you want to turn on the range hood switch over here at the top. When you turn that on, the igniter works, the self-ignition. And we will go ahead and light this particular one. So we'll turn that. See how it's still not lighting? Until the air basically gets bled from the system, it'll take some time. There we go. See how long that took? Hopefully you can see that. It's finally lit. So another tip while we're here, we'll cover it. If you noticed how I did it, when we push this knob in, hold it and ignite it and hold this knob in. So you want to hold it in for at least 10 seconds till that little isolator down there heats up. As soon as that heats up, that's a little safety mechanism. So if this blows, oh, if you leave the door open and um, the flame gets put out, it stops the flow of gas. It's just a safety system. That's on. That's fitted to all campers. It's a mandatory system. So when we establish that we've got a good steady flow of gas at the gas hob, you can come up here. Make sure you've got water in the water tank. Um, this one's quite low. So this one is actually quite low. If we turn this on, we'll see a lot of air. So you never want to run it when it's low and that there should be a little bit of um, water in the heater so that's fine for the moment for just just for demonstration purposes so normally in your camper when the tank is full you would turn the water pump on leave it on and you turn the water heater on now we wait for that light to go off if you listen closely you'll hear the gas heater light I don't know if you heard that click. So that click indicates that now it's indicating a fault. So this system will keep trying to light. It'll do it about three to four times. Um, if it's unsuccessful in all those scenarios, then it'll immediately default to just a red light. So if you, if you can hear that, So when that red light is off, that means the ignition on the gas boiler is on. So another way to check it is we'll go outside and we'll just um, basically test for hot air. I'll show you how to do that. So here's your hot water heater. If you listen closely, you can hear it running. So if you just gently move your hand up and down here, you'll feel the heat coming out. And there's quite a bit of heat at the moment, so you know that's on at the moment. Now sometimes with these suburban type water heaters, it's quite easy for the wind to go in here and actually blow off the flame. So in that scenario, you want to turn the camper around so it's not facing the wind. So as you can see now, it's running perfectly. Now a few people have um, asked 
about um, troubleshooting these uh, particular water heaters. They're quite straightforward. So if, say for instance, that red light keeps coming on and stays on. There's several reasons why that could be happening. Number one, check the gas bottle. Just make sure it's got gas in the bottle. But like I said, if you're doing this method, how I showed you to light the, hole, light the gas hob and make sure that the flame stays on, that kind of eliminates that problem. Secondly, it's those valves at the back, what I pointed out in the gas compartment, make sure they're all on the on position. Thirdly, um, check your voltage. Sometimes if your battery, your house battery is below 11 volts, realistically it shouldn't be below 12 volts, but if it does drop below that, you will not get a proper ignition and the gas hot water heater will not ignite. So basically, if that red light comes on, then that indicates a fault and you want to run through all the possible scenarios. The most common that I've seen is basically an empty gas bottle, air in the line, or the wind picking up and, it's, and it blows out the flame like I showed you there. So those are the most common issues with these suburban water heaters. Another point um, that I can make is, I'll put up a picture now of the suburban type water heater. Uh, basically, if you look at it, the design, if you leave it parked up outside, a lot of dust and dirt or even bugs can get up in, into that um, area. So I'll go outside and just open that and show you. So if you want to access this panel, make sure after just using it, it'll be hot. Just be careful not to burn yourself. So over here is your main system. Now you've got some resets over here. You can push these to reset it. So that'll reset your whole water heater. But um, basically what I was referring to is sometimes you get a lot of cobwebs and dirt over here. So you can open this panel up and give this area a good clean. Use a soft brush and make sure it's cold when you do this. If you're parking it up during winter, you want to and if you live in a cold country where it snows, you want to drain the hot water heater. Especially if you go minus five or 10 degrees, you don't want it cracking. So you want to drain all the water from the heater. You just use this quick release valve and you can drain everything from there. And also on this particular model, you have an anode down here. I'll put up a picture now so you can see what that is. It's basically a sacrificial node. Uh, it's a sacrificial rod to protect your water heater from um, corrosion and if anyone's curious this is the model number of the suburban water heater so like i said if you're ever doing any work around this area make sure it's cold before you do anything in this vicinity never ever open this when the gas is running to close it just push that in there pull this and just turn it like so. Just be gentle with that because that can break. And when you've put off that switch, then you can come here and close the gas bottle. Always make sure you close the gas bottle before traveling. You don't want to be driving with that gas bottle on. Um, it's just a safety precaution. Never leave any of the gas appliances on while driving as well, or when you're going on a short hike or you're going away from the camper only keep these devices on when you're in the camper and preferably do not leave them on when you're sleeping at night as well turn all of that off if you're in the latest um, Kia model motorhome you have these diesel robusto heaters which I'll cover in another video on what the fault codes are and how to um, breathe this light but basically you can leave that running at night it's a lot safer than the previous generation um, LPG heaters. I hope this video was of some help to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay tuned for more um, camper related videos. And if you'd like to see what this motorhome looks like, check out my review down in the description below where I cover the Kia Nomad and what it looks like um, in the interior and exterior.